folks and welcome back to another wise game of video today we're going to be going over a little bit of tech talk and it's dealing with YouTube and still adding end annotations to your videos so if you enjoy uploading videos to YouTube you still can add end annotations to your video now what those do is that they give you the option of adding a subscribe button so somebody could just click on your icon now and they'll automatically subscribe to you and the same with adding a link from one video to another video and that's what we're going to be showing you in today's video now the reason for this is as of May 2nd 2017 YouTube did away with the old annotation system where you could add comments links and all that good stuff and I miss it I still miss the old one because you were able to place them anywhere in the video and you also was able to add comments in the video I don't see any way that you could add comments now I don't see any field where we could type in a comment that we want to add later on to a video that we already published so make sure that if you want to put a message in your video to do it while you're making the video now and another piece of advice I want to give too is make sure that the last 20 seconds or last 30 seconds of your video is kind of clean looking so you got room to put these icons now so let's get the ball rolling the first thing I want to do is I want to add a link from one video to another video and there's numerous ways that you could do this with this new system so the first thing you want to do is actually go to your uh, uh, where all your videos are your playlist your, your videos and all that so here I am right here and you can usually do that by just clicking on your icon to the top right and then there's a, a menu you could go to my channel if you have uh, TubeBuddy you could also go in here go to playlists or videos I mean there's different ways you could do that so and this is the page you want to be in and then you want to click on videos and that's gonna have all your videos in here now when you're in here I'm gonna click on the magnifying glass on the top and that's my search because I don't want to go through all my 140 or 150 videos to find the one that I want to work with actually it's right here that's the one I want to actually add the link to but if we just type it in let's see here uh, cheat cheat engine hit enter and there it is right there now we're just going to open that up and put that aside for now now there's different ways you could do this too you could open up another raw uh, tab you could go back to YouTube I should still be logged in and then go back to my uh, playlist or my videos and now I want to look for the video that I want to grab the link from and this one is called let's see what is it called save editor then we're gonna hit enter and there's the video right there you could get the URL in a different couple of ways you could you could get it by just highlighting by by clicking on it I don't know if the links the same from this screen to the actual well let me click on it where it actually loads up in the viewing page well actually I'm in the uh, I'm in the save alright but anyways you could get it from well you don't want to you don't want to get the URL f from this page because that's actually different you want to click on this now it's going to take you to the actual viewing page where everybody views your videos from and get the URL from there or the easiest way of doing it if you're in this screen which is your uh, video manager is right over here it says video URL which is this right here we're just gonna highlight this and hit copy 
and that's it now we're done with this video we could close this out now but now we're back to the video that I want to actually add these annotations to so now we're going to click on edit video and boy, I, I gotta say the browsers lately have been terrible every browser I use they just take forever to load all right and here we are in our video manager for this video and the video manager of course is where you add all the information for your video and in here what I want to do now is right up on the top here there's end screen and annotations you want to click on that now I've already done this earlier so I'm gonna delete them so we start off uh, fresh okay now there's a couple of different ways that you could do this you could you could go to use templates right up here on the top right I mean on top center kind of ne next to view you could click on that and that's going to kind of set up the way that that it would lay out on your video but I don't do it this way I do it myself so I'm going to cancel that and then you could also import from a video now what this is is that it's a box that shows you videos that I've already added and annotations to in the last day or so they're going to stay in this box so if you want to tie these together with the same link you could just pick the video that you want here hit import and and you're done all right or we could also get the URL that I've gotten and just paste it in here and then hit import and it's going to automatically put it in the video at the end of the video but I'm going to cancel it here and I'm going to show you the main way that people usually use this and that's by clicking this big blue button here called add element so we're going to click on that and in here you got the option of video or playlist which is what we're going to be doing a subscribe which is also what we're going to be adding uh, promote another channel or link to a an approved uh, website now if I go to just add a subscribe button without doing a video or a playlist option it's not going to work so if I just click on create here we're going to see that it does make my icon and that's my subscribe button so once you get at the end of my video and you want to subscribe you would just click on that now and you're subscribed but if we notice on the top right here in red it says at least one element must be a video or a playlist okay right there so if I go to if I go to save this the save option is not lit up because it will not just give me a subscribe button so I gotta do both at least so now we're gonna go back to add element we're gonna go to video or playlist and hit create and then in here you have a few different options too you have the most recent upload so say if my most current video that I've uploaded before the video I'm working on today is the one I want to tie together with this video I I could pick that option and it's going to automatically tie tie them together but for this we're going to go to choose a video or playlist and now in here is all your videos so you could go through all your videos or you could just get that URL that you have and paste it in here and then hit create element and now there we are there it is right there now you could drag it around wherever you want to put it in the video alright so now we have a subscribe button and now we have my link to the uh, to the other video now we're gonna hit save on the top right see how it's lit up now because now we did it correctly but look at the way it looks now now look what happens now if I go to full screen there's a space now between the actual image and the bottom of my video it doesn't hug the very corner and the same with my subscribe button that I'm not too crazy about because it seems like now that it's set up more for mobile devices which I said earlier but now if you if you're watching this on a large monitor which I am we're gonna see gaps and stuff in spaces so it seems like 
YouTube leaned more towards making it more better for the mobile viewer, but not for the computer viewer, if that makes sense. Maybe they'll change that later on. But if I exit full screen and go back here, we're going to see I can't push it down anymore. It's down all the way. So that's one drawback of this I'm not too crazy about. I don't like the way that they leave my images. But anyways, we're going to hit save. Then we're going to go to the actual video. And I'm going to uh, fast forward it to the end. And we're going to wait for those to pop up and see what they look like. Let me go to full screen. And it should be coming up any second. And there we are. There they are. But see how they're not at the very bottom like the way I'd like them to be? So I don't think that there's any other way around that. But besides that, it looks really good. It's clean looking. It's better than just looking at a bunch of uh, text or whatever. Or messages or comments, I mean. So uh, so that's basically how you add end game, uh, end annotations, I mean, to your videos. Now, ever since May 2nd of 2017. So again, thanks for watching Wise Gamer. Feel free to sub up, comment below, and we'll catch you the next time. Bye-bye.